Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. The flesh. The flesh. Oh, whoever told you that it is only Satan you have to fight. The flesh. Let me tell you something about the flesh. In my opinion, of all these three evils, this is the most vicious of them. Because you can cast evil spirits. You can run away from wicked and unreasonable men. But this flesh you see, it remains with you and the Bible says to crucify it and you die daily. The flesh. <laughs> Romans 7 from verse 18. For I know that in me, again, our Paul is speaking now, that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing for to will is present with me he says but how to perform that which is good i find not let's continue it says for the good that i would that i would i do not but the evil which i would not want to do that is what i do verse 8 20 let's continue it says now if I do that which I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. 21. It says, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. 22. For I delight in the law of God sincerely in the inward man. Are you seeing the conflict now? But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. 24. It says, O wretched man that I am, an apostle that casted demons without talking twice is now expressing frustration. What kind of an enemy is this that you cannot cast out with one word? O Oh, wretched man that I am he says who shall deliver me Paul is crying is there someone who can deliver me from this body of death listen the flesh is so vicious in its operation that it reveals itself in levels according to your growth there are many times that the flesh will lie low for many years and you would flatter yourself into thinking you have attained unto liberty without pressing in the spirit. It is simply because certain doors have not been opened. If you are not Solomon the king, you have no business with Bathsheba. Are we together now? Yes. If you are not Samson the warrior, you have no problem with Delilah. No. Are we together now if you are not abraham the one who should be the father of nations you have no problem with the frustration of barrenness that will lead to the birth of ishmael let me tell you ladies and gentlemen please hear me as you rise your flesh has a way of reinventing strategies that is able to attack and challenge you at the level of your growth there are some temptations that will never come to your life when you are broke it's not that you are delivered from them the temptation cannot work because what it feeds on to get to you is not even there are we together now please listen very carefully if you have not been given an appointment in an office where there is a cash flow of one billion naira every week the, you will think that you have immunity against bribery and corruption and you may even have the audacity to write a book about those who are doing it this is why the older men become the more silent they become because there is something they learn with time that this life bar at the end of it all it is God is someone learning now you will understand why Jesus said in your prayer do not forget to bring this deliver us from evil hallelujah Why will there be an attack over your car when there is no car there? I'm not being sarcastic now. 
Are we together now? Yes. There are many believers today who believe that they have attained onto a spiritual state that has magically immune them from certain things. No. The flesh is lying low, quietly, allowing you... Do you know? Now, let me speak a bit of biology. It is said a woman from age 12 or 13 or so has the potential to give birth. But a woman can stand even at age 40 and her womb is there and you will never see pregnancy because the condition that allows that pregnancy has not yet been engaged. Is that true? As soon as that woman takes in seed, immediately you will see that that quiet, that, that pregnancy that has the potential for it had always been there. Same thing happens with a man. This is how the flesh is. There is something the flesh is waiting for to activate it, operation. And the unemployment issue has helped the flesh to lie quiet so you can believe that I am fine and I am free. Are we together? There is a certain level of increase and influence that if it has not yet come, oh Jesus, for as long as you are still a baby, even though you are the word incarnate, no problem. But as long as the news of your arrival got to Herod, Herod said, who did you say? Go and search the archives for me. Is there such and such a prophecy? He said, let me know where that child is so that I will come. Do you know that because of the arrival of Jesus, many women lost their children? Does that look like a savior? What kind of a savior whose arrival makes the death of... There was a lamentation in Rama. Many people died because a gift that will save the world arrived. Whoever told you that good things don't create conflict? Whoever told you that the arrival of glorious things will not bring contention from hell? Are we together now? Yes. This is a very powerful teaching. Jesus arrives. If you were the woman who lost your child, would you want to see Jesus? And they told you prophetically that this is the Savior. You want to save my life and you killed my child by your arrival. What a Savior. How about Mary? The moment it was announced in the spirit, Hail Mary, that salutation came. And he said, you are favored. The next thing that followed her life was trouble and controversy. She was about to lose Joseph. Are we together? And then the scribes and the Pharisees came, just confess, who is the father of this child? A ghost. You must be stupid. You are playing with our intelligence on top of the fact that you have brought shame to your husband and our family. I'm an innocent young virgin. We do not believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, open doors come with challenges. That is the reason why men must be prepared to attain stature in the spirit. There are many doors that it is God that closed by himself because you have been weighed in the spirit and God has seen that if that door is open, the left, the bankruptcy of spiritual intelligence and stamina, you will die because a door opened. So he will close the door as an act of his mercy and quickly send you to men and women who would midwife your growth until you attain stature in the spirit and then that door will be opened. Are we together? You hear that in a family, the last person who became a pastor got mad after a crusade. You laughed hysterically and said, how can a man finish preaching and then be mad? And now you don't know anything about the dynamics of liberty. You have not learned that much. And then you wanted to go and organize a crusade in the same village. And you find out that the more you pray, the more the crusade is not holding. Don't force it. God is saying, listen, young man, it is true that Christ died, but we rise through light. You do not understand the ancient powers and the altars that have pegged their relevance in that land. You come in like Paul and just believe you dislodge darkness without spiritual intelligence. You will wake up with half of you not waking up. Many, many people have not followed the protocol of the spirit and they've barged into open doors arbitrarily to their pain. To their peril there are temptations you have no business going through for instance is it not when you are a big man that you now begin to fight for titles you didn't call me apostle joshua selman do you know who i am if you were a brother in the wilderness somewhere any name they call you even if they say yes you will answer but now that the door has been opened and you are a great man apostle joshua selman it is amazing to know that there is a whole industry 
that is built around ego because the higher you rise some unnecessary things become necessary so much that an industry was built around it if you are learning say amen, amen. some of you are praying and say god close that door i'm not i don't even want to get <laughs> you must pass through the door in the name of jesus hallelujah I remember one gentleman who came one time I don't know if he was here or he was in Zaria and he just brought a poster he said he was taking a step of faith he saw it in a dream he wanted to go and hold a crusade in a stadium in his place and I looked at him with compassion I said my friend God doesn't work like this huh just take it easy be faithful in your prayer group where you and he was determined I know what I had I said okay God go with you you see yeah sometimes it's very good to allow life itself to be able to help it's only that sometimes the casualties become so much even if you survive you may not have the strength again are we together yes battles that come as a result of growth let's tie a few things now so the bible says that the flesh is a big hindrance when doors are open i define flesh as the vulnerabilities and the negative tendencies that come with the fallen nature the vulnerabilities and the negative tendencies that come with the fallen nature the vulnerabilities and the negative tendencies that come with the fallen nature and the bible says it can be activated it can be activated in the presence of plenty it can be activated in the presence of abundance watch this jesus is teaching in a crusade and there are hungry people who are tarried there for three days and now they were hungry and a responsible father would say um let them sit i'm about to feed them with bread he got five loaves two fish multiplied it and gave it to them notice what began to happen the moment they were getting satisfied, lawlessness came in. For as long as they were hungry, they sat quietly as they shared the bread. The moment they started becoming satisfied, they started throwing remnants of the bread on the ground. And after they left, Jesus quietly said, go around, pack what they have thrown. And they found out they had wasted 12 baskets full. You will not waste bread if you are hungry. But when you eat, you can now begin to waste because there is no need again. For as long as the nation of Israel were in need of a savior and deliverance, they would listen to everything Moses would say. But as soon as they crossed the Red Sea and attained unto a place of liberty, Moses went up to receive the commandments and he returns back to find idol worshippers who had suddenly changed. They had forced Aaron to build a golden calf and they began to bow and worship how short a time was it from their exodus that they had now forgotten that's what happens to men in the presence of abundance give us this day our daily bread then he does not stop there he said now pay attention to what comes along daily bread when you receive daily bread then he says lead us not into temptation temptation always follows daily bread and then he says deliver us from evil hallelujah there are groups and associations you may never know exist until you rise to certain realms in life are we together now you have become a ceo you don't drink you don't smoke, you love God, but you have attained a position of growth and honor where you are invited for an executive meeting. And the nature of that meeting demands global leaders to join you. And there are certain professional practices that may corrupt your conviction, but it is part of the modus operandi of that level of living. The courage it will take to stand and say no will take fasting and prayer. For you to be able to administer it because there are implications when you make the people feel stupid because of your faith are we together now yes there are many people who do not understand you get into a system where corruption is systemic it's not about your personal desire you met a design like that and your contribution is only part of the design how do you now fight that overall system 
you can fight an individual but fighting systems are very difficult are we together now yes you never knew that there was anger and frustration in you until God gave you large membership and you are preaching people are saying amen and nobody comes to say apostle God bless you I'm not saying you should give me money please I'm just using it as an example and everybody just meets you and say your sermon was powerful while you are trekking back home then you realize that that pain is in your heart remember you said you don't have any business with the cares of this world your wife wakes you and says, is this how we are going to continue when I married you I knew what you told me God said what is this thing we are seeing that's when you will stand up and know that on a Sunday morning you don't have a sermon because of anger not because you could not prepare you are beginning to hate the people God sent you to because you don't even know what kind of stiff neck now you understand Moses's anger and you will know why in spite of his anger God still called him the meekest man God rates people based on the pressures that are on them and the level of righteousness that oozes out in the midst of that pressure are we together a woman who has eight children and no husband plus five other relatives that were added to her and she prays for only 30 minutes a day and she's faithful in it you can laugh at her because all your supplies come free you can lock yourself for three days and come out into supplies that are prepared and you will find out that God seems to honor that woman because he's rating her based on the realities that are there and her press to love God in spite of what is available is someone learning now this is very very powerful there are vulnerabilities that come when we grow listen when you know this eh, the higher you rise the more humble you become I've had the honor and the privilege of relating with the fathers of faith in this nation and I am amazed at the level of humility and brokenness within them you would think they were such a weak people but these people are powerful in the spirit something there is an education that experience in partnership with the spirit has brought to them that they have understood that listen it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but in truth it is of the Lord that showeth mercy hallelujah praise the name of the Lord Do you know I found out that many men who become angry fathers, angry mothers were not born like that. Are we together? When you have five children, everything is rising except your salary. School fees is rising. Trouble is rising. Relatives are being added now. Somebody just calls you from nowhere and says, are you not aware we are related? Help me and pay my school fees. I'm not aware. I was never told that I have any cousin from anywhere so well just to inform you that I am your cousin I've told you you are our elder brother and since our parents are not there you are the new father we know responsibilities come and you find out that the man begins to get to his wife and children and sometimes the young children say why is daddy changing he will reset back in old age but for that as far as that reality is happening you find out that there are people who become things that they were not let me tell you it's because the flesh was lying quietly waiting for opportunities to come up are we together now yes who would have imagined ladies and gentlemen that solomon was a murderer within i mean uh, david was a murderer within him david if you saw david the young boy who would not want that kind of gentleman to be a pastor? Who would not want that kind of gentleman to be a husband? You would have seen David, David epitomized the prayer point of every woman. And yet there was a murderer locked up in that young boy. But the murderer could not manifest. He could only kill animals. But you didn't know he could kill men too. One day when kings went for war, the man was roaming around his palace. And then he saw Vashti. That was the time for flesh to come out he went so far to write a letter and gave you right go and die this is by my hand and you thought that after uriah died he would say okay that's all right he still i hope you know that's how solomon came <laughs> the question is when you understand this you now begin to pray the prayer of the psalmist search my heart oh god and know my thoughts 
it says and if you find out that there is any wickedness within me lead me to the way everlasting someone shall deliver us from evil hallelujah you never know as a man of God that you like money until God brings a billionaire as a son and he says Papa or man of God or apostle what do you want just speak and it will be done and God said don't say anything say God God forbid I've suffered in this life you are the one fighting my own progress now I've preached I've done it now it's my own time to rest you said there remained a rest for the people of God now When you had 100,000 home and abroad, God said, give it. You said, yes, Lord. In one word, you gave it. Now you have 10, 20 million and God said, give everything. You know, I, I'm, I, I know how God speaks. God cannot be this, this wicked. Knowing the reality of Nigeria to ask me, no, it can't be God. I reject that spirit. Satan appears as an angel of light. I reject that light. And when you finish, because God speaks once, you will hear twice. God will use every verification system you want. I am the one saying it. May you be delivered. Amen. Now, very quickly so that we can pray. There is a biblical requirement for accessing deliverance from God. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.